You have to fight right there. Why are you in the ropes doing this instead of fighting? You can't do that. Oh, I didn't get the motherfucking championship for the world. Stay focused. Don't get hit with no stupid shit. I didn't say raise up and be wild. I said be smart and fight. The entire fight still very much up in the air. Two of the best at 147 showcasing their wares. Weights on point. Um, and uh, now it's time to eat again. You know, so. It's kind of become such somewhat somewhat of a ritual. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> get that payday, right? For me to go to juniors, we have fun. You know, we just keep everything loose. Go out and you know, I, I get some good food. Today, outside of the fight, all I do is chill. That's all I do is chill. Now, when you got your cup on, this is gonna stretch out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see all the different flags. It's a it's a tribute to the WBC belt. Most definitely, that's what we talked about. Yeah, that's gonna highlight the hood. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be light, yes. super light. Yes. That's the lightest you ever made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Put the hood on. Put the hood on. Be the father and the coach. There's no difference. You cannot separate them. You're gonna be both. <laughs> I've said this before, and you know I have my own. Um, opinion about it but good job, brother. Good job. if you genuinely have a coach that wants to see a man a young young man young athlete be successful the relationship that they want to build with him as close as they can possibly get would be the father to the son right now my vision for the fight um i just got to go in there and set the pace uh set the tempo you know let my hands off get off first um, make sure my defense is sharp, my footwork is sharp, and just make adjustments every round. All right, I'm gonna say a prayer. I'm gonna say something. Anybody wanna join? I thought when I stay quiet, you wanna say something? Say before we say Amen, then we all say it together. We're gonna pray for Danny. We're gonna pray for Porter family. You know, we wanna protect Danny tonight because it's your job. It's not my job to make sure. Thank you, my Lord. Amen, my Lord. Amen. 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 I think it's a little more emotional. You know, aggressive emotional. So, you know, he just tries to keep me up, keep me keep keep me on point, and that's it. That's basically it. Tonight, we're back in the new mecca of boxing. Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Danny Garcia and Jean Porter are both former world champions who are trained by their fathers. They are fighting for the vacant WBC welterweight title. Danny Garcia's long overdue. His only loss came against undefeated champion Keith Thurman. I think this is one of the best fights in the welterweight division this year. The way Sean Porter fights, I just expect him to take it straight to Danny Garcia and really outwork him and most likely get the decision. I think Sean Porter understands very clearly that a loss here is something he just can't have. Sean would like to make this a wild and messy fight. You know how he fights. How do you avoid getting drawn into that? I just gotta go in there and fight my fight. What led you to this point? Setting the goal, making it a dream, something that I really want to accomplish and do in my life. Big fights bring out big names. Crowd of over 13,000 in attendance.
ups at all times. Right now, we're going to follow on the lethal levers right here, all right? Tap it up, let's go to work. Garcia. And he's initiating with a good variety of shots, keeping Porter off balance. Make sure you stay focused. We was more on the crown, I need more on the chin and the nose. Good. Win the win. Porter trying to disrupt Danny Garcia's game. Break the man, Danny! Break the man, Danny! Breathe, breathe, breathe. Start to see him. Stay here. Don't drop your head. Don't get slumpy. You're in excellent shape. Jab, jab, get to the body. Fight the man right there. Two of the top five 147 pounders in the sport going at it. Too close to call as we head to the championship round. Be smart. You can have to get there, okay? Stay focused. Stay focused on the, on the banging like that. But you're a stronger man. The 12th and final round could very well determine the new WBC welterweight champion. Every second counts. Will it be enough? The WBC welterweight champion of the world, Showtime Show. The lifelong dream has come true, and that sets up so many mega money matches, including a potential unification fight with Errol Spence Jr. The same way that you called out Danny Garcia, I'm calling you out. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it on. I feel like I'm the best welterweight in the division, and I want this fight. I'm the IBF champion of the world. I'm Earl Spence Jr. I'm the truth, and I guarantee you, I'm going to come home with the WC belt and be the unified champion. Hey, hey, do I look worried? Guys, you got to get out of the hallway. I got fighters coming through. I don't know how to feel right now. You know, I'm a true champion. I just got to sit back and see what's next for me. Right now, I am, you know, thinking about everything I did wrong, as opposed to everything I did right. But I feel very, very um, happy. I feel like I, I, I deserve the victory. I won. Feel like I worked hard and um, feel like there's some big things in the future.